a while no vlog <laughs> watu wamekuwa wagonjwa homa nini eh hey, ndio tuna recover now we are good but now we are good so today we are taking you with us uh, to the soko so I, I used to go to the jubilee market in within kisumu town but recently someone told me I should go to Kibuye because it's much cheaper than Jubilee Market. Jubilee na julikana kama ya mababi. So, <laughs> wacha tone how Kibuye Market is. We are going to shop for some uh, groceries, cereals and uh, such like. Na tukipata, veggies. yeah, and veggies. <coughs> tukipata tungoz to Azen because he's outgrowing his clothes. We are also going to get uh, for him some clothes. So, hang out with us and... Uh, Let's show you how the market day is going to be like. I hope I'll be, I'll be able to record. <laughs> I'm not so sure. That's why he's shy. He's a bit, uh, yeah. You get, it's, it's really awkward recording in the market, but you're going to try. <laughs> quite expensive not as cheap as I thought they would be but uh, watch out on your own well I, 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 I can say it's not a big difference from uh, Jubilee market we are done with the grocery shopping watch out with the gari to lift up this mango
so we are finally done um just to give a comparison between this kibuye market and the other one in town i don't think the other one in town the Ju i think it's called jubilee market i don't think it has uh, things like clothes furniture shoes and all those things it's just majorly food stuff like cereals and vegetables uh, so i'm just going to <laughs> i'm just going to compare like uh, the Coin. pricing hey wait wait <laughs> i'm just going to compare the pricing of the cereals between this place and uh, the jubilee market so the price range is literally just about the same so matter come on like a bit less kidogo than uko it's like only 20 bob or 30 bob which does not make a big difference considering the other one is nearer yeah. to town and this one is much further unless come on sisi tuligongwa maybe because wana tuona tunaka just for rain in this market i don't know <laughs> but uh i i asked the prices from different uh, sellers and they were all ranging about the same price they were actually the same all of them were selling their things at the same price so that's why i thought at jagongwa it's actually the actual price for those things so yeah that's it i'm so tired <laughs> Did you get? The clothes, I didn't even get nice clothes, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I went on the wrong day. Maybe we went on the wrong day because I know market day, I was told it's on Sundays and today is Saturday. So next time you're going to try on a Sunday and see if we will get uh, some nice things. So I just got some sweatpants and some uh, some sweatpants and some t-shirts for them. The sweatpants were going for like a hundred bob, the t-shirts were going for like a hundred bob as well. Uh, yeah. So we'll see again another time. So um, let's get home. Then I show you how we're going to how I store my cereals in the fridge in the freezer, which I can they can last me even for up to two. They can last us for up to two months. So let's go and uh, boil those stuff and uh, restock our freezer. <laughs> yeah. So this is basically what we got. Uh, this is these are uh, these are rose cocoa beans maize for we have this type of dengus it's a different kind i don't know if you guys know them i don't know what they're called we have some peanuts um, we have some carrots here some cocos then there's yellow beans. I like yellow beans for stew. And then the red ones, I use them for giveri. And we have garlic. And then we have, <laughs> these are crops for them. And we have potatoes. Ah, basically that's it. That's it. So all this, I'm going to make, um, to boil them. And then uh, we're going to restock our freezer with all these items that are going to last us for quite some time. Uh, mostly, it takes us like two months, mostly. Yeah, because we alternate between the cereals and uh, meat, meat proteins, and uh, yeah, between those, so it will take us quite some time, yeah. So, uh, with the help of my uh, I was up to have finished uh, boiling everything. Actually, not everything. What's remaining are uh, this, these two dengus here, which uh, we've not yet boiled. But uh, she's going to finish up with them tomorrow. So let me just show you how we are going to store these. You see, like what we got. This is green. This is gideri. Then we have the yellow beans. And then now we have the dengus there. So I'm just going to stock up the fridge and show you how we make sure we may just put them in these Ziploc bags that I got from House of Leather. I, I really don't know where to get them here in Kisumu. So I got like a stock of this. This set has, uh, this has um, 20, actually 20 bags. Yeah. This one has 20 bags and this one has 20 ziplock bags. So uh, I don't know where to get them in Kisumu, but I got them from Nairobi at House of Leather. Uh, and this is what I use to store my stuff.
stuff in the freezer. So, yep, let's do it. I have to like literally ensure there's no air. There's no air uh, trapped inside so that it's easier to store. And then I have to position them in this position so that they can easily fit in the freezer. So I, I lay them flat. I'll just show you how I'm going to fix them. I lay them flat like this so that they can all fit uh, easily. And also it, it's, it's actually easier to... It's actually easier to defrost the food when you freeze them this way. I think they defrost much faster than when they're in a lump sum in this form. Yeah. here that we just bought from the supermarket because I didn't find them in the circle so I think I don't know I feel like some people really don't know these the commandes and jahe although I, although I saw jahe but I didn't see commandes because we don't like jahe that much but we eat no, it's a big deal we eat but we not really fans of jahe so these ones I don't uh, boil them because they cook so fast so and when I want to cook them, I just put in the pressure cooker and they're ready in a few minutes. So let me stop these ones in the freezer. By the way, I also got sausages today, and this is how I pack them. I split them into six six because uh, just me, then and uh, babes with sausage. My husband doesn't eat meat, so yeah, I pack them in six so that it's easier to cook when you want to just cook. We just remove one batch, yeah. So I just pack them basically in, in six. This is how I store them. So I'm just doing a try on haul of uh, this, these two outfits that I got at the market. So I got this pretty dress and um, another romper which I'm going to, to just wear now. I think I, I like it so much. It looks cute. Then, then there's this bumper that I just also got. I like that it has pockets and it's pretty simple and cute for this Kisumu weather that is so hot for the weekend, for the weekend vibes. Yeah, I like them. So uh, that marks the end of our video today and uh, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this video and uh, continue watching and uh, if you're around Kisumu you can comment below and uh, give me like more ideas on what to do around Kisumu and uh, we'll be glad to share with you. Bye! Till next time. See ya!